Hello everyone, welcome to MESS e-learning channel. So in the previous lecture, we uh, saw about how to solve a problem based on a concurrent force system. From now on, we'll focus on the parallel force system and the general force system. But before we actually move on to that, we need to know what is the Varignan's theorem. So this is the diagram for the Varignan's theorem and here is the statement. So the Varignan theorem, as you can see, it states that the resultant force, the moment of the resultant force about any point in a plane is always equal to the algebraic sum of the moment of all the forces in the system about the same point. So if we get into this diagram, let us consider that this is one force Q and this is a force P and this R is the resultant of P and Q forces. So here is here are the angles, that is this is the angle with the first P force and the I mean origin point. This is the second angle and this is the angle for force Q. And D1, D, D1 and D2 are the two perpendicular distances for force P and Q and distance D is the perpendicular distance for the resultant force R. So according to the statement of the Varignan theorem, it would be the moment of force of the moment of the resultant force about a point, let's say this point is M, so about a point M would be equal to resultant algebraic sum of the resultant, I mean moment of the all the forces about that same point. So all the forces about the same point M. So it is the resultant force and the summation of all the forces that are present in the current plane. So if we write this, simplify this, it would be, this is R into D is equal to moment of all the forces from that point. So from here, what do we get is the distance D, about where the resultant will be located in a system. But before we move into the, so the solving part of parallel force system and general force system, we need to know first what is the moment because to apply Varignan's theorem we need to find the moment first. So as we were talking about the moment, so the moment is actually the rotational effect produced by The force is the moment. So if I want to express it mathematically, so if I have to find moment, it is F into D. Now M is moment about a point. F is the force. and D is the perpendicular distance. So let us see the see an example here. But before that, we should know the sign convention for the moment. So according to right hand thumb rule, clockwise direction is negative and anti clockwise direction will take it as positive so these are the two sign convention that we need to find now how to use it we'll just see in the example here. So let us say we have a force of 50 Newton here going upwards and we have various different points about which we'll find the moment of this force 50 Newton. So let us see for point A. For about point 
A if I have to find the moment. So the force, moment is force into perpendicular distance. So we have our force at point A. So there is no perpendicular distance of this force from A. So the perpendicular distance would be 0. That is why a moment about A would become 0. Now the next is moment about B. So for moment about B, if I see I have from point B, if you see the distance till point A, the distance from B to A is here we have the x distance to be 3 and here I have the x distance to be 4. So the total distance from A to B is four, uh, 7. So this and this distance is the perpendicular distance for the force going out at A. So this will be force into the perpendicular distance. But so moment about B would be first force that is 50 into perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance is 7. So but before we write the answer we need to see that whether the moment is clockwise or anticlockwise. So, whenever you want to decide whether the force is a clockwise uh, in, a, in a clockwise direction or in an anticlockwise direction, keep your thumb here and if I put this in the direction of force, my other finger in the direction of force which is going upwards, I would get the anticlockwise direction and we have assumed the anticlockwise direction to be positive. So, this would be positive that is 350 Newton meter. Next is moment about of the same force about point C. So about point C if you see uh, if, if we see I have the line of action of the force to be this and the direction to be this. So this force has an effect on this line of action. So this would be the perpendicular distance for force C uh, for point C. So my force and the perpendicular distance. So my force is 50 and my perpendicular distance here is here it will be minus 5 and 4 so it is 9. 9 and the direction also if you see it is again anticlockwise so it is positive. So it would be 450 Newton meter. So the next point is point D, so moment about point D. So from point D if I want to see this is the line of action of A and this would be the perpendicular distance of A, the force which is at A and the point D. So if this is the perpendicular distance, the distance is from here from O to A it is 4 and from after 4 it is till D it is 6, so, so the distance is 2 and my force is 50. But if I see the direction now, so I have my point here and if I take my other finger in the direction of force, it is in the clockwise direction and we are considering the clockwise direction to be negative. So it is minus 100 Newton meter. And the last point is moment about point O. So moment about point O, so this is the moment O point and I have my force of 50 Newton here. So the line of action of force and the O and they are perpendicularly related. So this is my distance which is 4 and the four force is 50. So 50 into 4, if you see the direction it is anticlockwise again, so positive, so it would be 200 Newton meter. So this is how we find moment about a force, moment of a force about any point. But here I have considered the direction according to right hand thumb rule that is minus for clockwise direction and anticlockwise for plus. But you can also take it the either way that is clockwise positive and anticlockwise negative. So it can be either way. So I consider to be the directions to be according to this clockwise direction to be negative and anticlockwise direction to be positive. 
So let us go back to the uh, previous figure wherein I explained about the Varignan theorems. And according to Varignan theorem, the moment of the resultant force about a point, so let's say this is my point, uh, any point M about a point is equal to moment of summation of moment of all the forces in that system. So there are two forces P and Q and their perpendicular distances are this. So moment of resultant force about point M is equal to moment of all the forces in the system. So moment of resultant force here is R into the perpendicular distance given is D. So this is R into D about point M and moment of other forces, there are two forces P and Q, so it is P into the distance is D1, so P into D1 plus Q into D2. So now this is the actual formula to find the uh, Varignan's theorem, to apply the Varignan theorem and to find out D. So this Varignan theorem is used to locate resultant force in parallel force system and general force system. So in this lecture, we studied how to find the moment and how to apply that moment into the Varignan's theorem. And we also now know that to solve any parallel force system problem or general force system, we need to apply the Varignan's theorem. Hope you understood. Thank you.